Name me the different types of blood vessels in the body and its purpose. Shakes, yeah. Okay, art. Artillery vein. Artillery vein. Artillery vein. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, artillery. Huh? It's like the biggest blood vessel. Artillery. That's uh, right, not artillery. <laughs> artery. Arti, arti, arti. Tropic. Hello, everybody. So today we're on the street to test Singaporeans on biology to see who is more knowledgeable about the subject, the juniors or the seniors. Just a little friendly competition between the generations to add some fun to learning. Alright, are you ready? Let's go! How young are you? You never ask a woman's age, you have to take me out first, but it's okay. I'm 24 years young. 58, 57 years old this year. I'm 19. I'm only 70. Just <laughs> deep into 30s only. Next question is, how good were you all in school? Okay, I'm not bad, not bad. And you eh? My best is Chinese. My worst is math. I did pretty well for O-levels and I'm also a tuition teacher, so I should be pretty good with school. Oh, I was in school. You was in school? What do you mean? As a teacher, as a head of department, as a school principal. Okay, yeah. between chemistry, physics and biology, what is your best? Bio is my subject. Bio is your subject. Yeah. <laughs> because today, we're actually testing people on the street on biology. Oh, okay. I hope I can still remember my biology. Bio? But I'm an art student. Pure okay. bio. Pure bio. Oh, you pure bio. Pure bio. bio. He knows the body well. So, your reproductive system is very good. <laughs> very good. Functioning. I know ask about yours. <laughs> okay, but I tell you what. To help you all, okay. revise on your memory a bit. You agree as a teacher, we should give incentive for good behaviour? Yeah, yeah, but not necessarily money. Like give what? Maybe some praises. But I'd rather give money lah. <laughs> <laughs> you, or you want praises? Oh, of course I want that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so for every correct answers you have, I'll reward you with some cash money. There'll right. be three easy questions for $5 each, two medium questions for $20 each, and one difficult question for $150. I think I'm a bit motivated now. Let's go, come on, I'm ready. So, for the first easy question. All easy questions are under the subject of cells. Cell okay. is the unit of life. Remember or not, cells. I got one brain cell. So, for the first easy question, for $5, which of the following is found in a plant cell but not in an animal cell? A. Cytoplasm. B. Mitochondria. C. Cell wall. Or D. Nucleus. Wow, all the very cheap. I only know the green pigment is not in us. D. Why you say that? <laughs> I think so. You think I so? I told you I'm just making a random guess. Unfortunately, you did not get it correct. Cell wall. You? <laughs> I'm going for mitochondria. Okay, you're the only lock in one answer. I would say you try to trust me on this one. Okay, okay. okay so they lock in mitochondria, okay. but just now Momo say cell wall. So the correct answer is C. Cell wall. I thought every single cell the cell wall one. <laughs> You know what? I'm sorry, I give my title to you. You're the one with pure bio. Boom! I got this. See, we've got chloroplast that contains chlorophyll and a cell wall that supports the cell shape. It's supposed to be a multiple choice, you know? Do it! Okay. <laughs> and that's absolutely correct. Wow! You're going home broke. I'm going home rich. Let's go. Cell walls? I'm gonna go with cell wall. Cell wall. Correct! Oh, okay. Wow. Luckily, I can still remember. <laughs> I'll give some explanation. So the nucleus, cytoplasm, mitochondria and cell membrane are four cell components that are found in both animal and plant cells. The cell wall, however, is only present in plant cells. Oh. It surrounds the cell membrane and gives the plant cell its unique rectangular shape. Okay, now for the second easy question. For $5, similar body cells group to form what? A. Tissue B. Organ C. Blood vessels or D. Joints it should be the tissue. How many ply? Three ply, four ply? <laughs> so your answer is A, tissue. It's absolutely correct. Oh, thank you. <laughs> tissue is foundation first, so my answer is tissue. Which is absolutely correct. <laughs> I was actually really excited. Oh my gosh. $10, everybody. Tissue? Tissue. Tissues. Tissue. Wow. I never. I was going to give you multiple choice. No need. No need, huh? <laughs> Absolutely correct. Oh, okay. Wow. I still remember. <laughs> okay, so there are four types of tissue. Connective tissue, which supports other tissues and binds them together. Yep. Then they have the epithelial tissue, which is tissue that provides a covering. And then you have muscle tissue, which moves the skeleton to control your body. And then lastly, we have the nervous tissue, which is made out of nerve cells and is used to carry messages to and from various parts of the body. And then there's one more, mm. which is the wet tissue, mm. which is I use at home, you know, to wipe my table. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we have the third easy question for $5. Which cell organelle is also called the powerhouse of the cell? Is it A, ribosome, B, endoplasmic reticulum, C, cytoplasm, or D, mitochondria? Oh, 
Ah, all the big big names lah. Uh. <laughs> I only can make a guess lah. Uh. Okay. B lah. Endoplasmic reticulum. What sounds the most cheap? Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's unfortunately the wrong, wrong one. Yeah. answer. Mitochondria. Is chondria or chondria? It's M I T O C H. Mitochondria, wrong. right? If, if you pronounce wrong, also wrong, you know. No way. No this isn't an English pronunciation test. This is a science test. Wow. <laughs> this girl very feisty, yeah. Uh, very fierce. But no. it's mitochondria. Confirm. And that is correct. Perfect. I knew this. Let's go, everybody. I got it right. Mitochondria. Mitochondria. I actually think it's mitochondria this time. You sure or not? Everything mitochondria. <laughs> I actually really think it's that it's mitochondria is cell membrane. Wow. No, no, no. So, mitochondria is the battery of the cell. Round, round, you give me $5. No, it's $250. <laughs> okay, give me your $250. Okay. So, you log in. D, mitochondria. And the answer is. Absolutely correct! Yeah! <laughs> you got the D! You got the D, man! Okay, yeah! Okay, so mitochondria are tiny organelles inside cells that are involved in releasing energy from food. This process is known as cellular respiration. So far, you are A star grade, 3 out of 3. $15 in, no problem. Okay. Next up, we have the medium question. Okay. This medium question are all okay. under the subject of organs. For $20, name the seven organs in the digestive system in order and name each organ's purpose. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. In order? In order. You gotta be kidding me. I did my bio book. Okay, so definitely the mouth, right? What does the mouth do? Chew. And? And then you swallow it. It's followed by the esophagus. So okay. the esophagus is what transports the food from the mouth to the stomach. Then it goes into the stomach. Digestive juice comes in. Then it goes into the small intestine, which digests some more food like protein and so on. Okay, then next? The large intestine. Yeah. Absorb the water. And then next? Rectum. Do what? Store Ex the shit. Store the unabsorbable food. The six. And I got one more. And then the anus. And the anus is where the food passes out. How? How? Right? Huh? That's... PG-13 <laughs> <laughs> One more hint on the last one Everybody go toilet and then the last part I don't have to tell you what Cannot to say on, on TV, not nice <laughs> Start with the A right? Yeah, <laughs> can say lah, this is scientific <laughs> One more time Anus She has answered Mouth, gullet, uh, stomach, stomach, large intestine, large, small, small intestine, intestine rectum, rectum, anus Unfortunately mm. You mix up the order, small and large intestine. Ah, I knew it. Mouth, esophagus, okay. stomach, and then the uh, small intestine, okay. and then the large intestine, okay. and then the rectum, and then the anus. Right now, seven? 100% <laughs> correct. Mouth, gullet, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, anus. Thanks for giving me favorite this for my tuition. But if wrong, then... I know, right? <laughs> if wrong, I'm screwed. Why, you like nervous? <laughs> and that's absolutely... Correct! <laughs> Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small oh, intestine, yeah, big intestine, yeah. rectum. Anus! Okay, and that is absolutely correct! Yeah. Okay, so the mouth, you're right, chews food into very small pieces and actually the digestive enzyme breaks down carbohydrate. Okay, then we move on to the esophagus, which pushes the food from the mouth into the stomach. Next, we have the stomach, which produces gastric juice, which contain hydrochloric acid and enzymes. Then it passes through the small intestine that breaks down leftover food residue using enzymes released by the pancreas and bowel from the liver. Then next, we have the large intestine, which absorbs water, mineral salts and vitamins. Then move on to the rectum, which stores the stool before the final process, which is to excrete the waste. Okay, now we move on to the next medium question. For $20, one of the most important organs in the human body is the heart, where it pumps blood to the rest of the body through blood vessels. Name me the different types of blood vessels in the body and its purpose. Shakes, yeah. This is worse than my school exam, no? Okay. <laughs> okay, art. Artillery vein! Artillery vein! Artillery vein! Artillery vein! Artillery vein! Artillery vein! There's the artillery. It's like the biggest blood vessel. Artillery. That's right, not artillery. Artillery. Arti, arti, arti. Start with A. A R. Artery. Artery. Oh my god. That's right. I'm gonna burst an artery soon. Artery. Artery is what? Blood rich. Okay. Wait, artery is what rich? It's blood rich. Arteries is oxygen rich. You say must book. Yeah, vein small. Correct, oh. vein. Okay, last clue. Start with C on. Capillaries. And that is correct. Yeah! First of all, you have the artery which pump oxygenated blood to the whole body. And then after that, it goes to the capillaries which distribute blood to the various cells. And after that, it moves to the veins which collect the blood back 
to the heart. And that is absolutely correct. I can still remember. Wow, you explained it very well. Okay, so the vein actually carries deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart. Hence, it is dark red in colour. Then the arteries, which carries oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the organs, is bright red in colour. And then lastly, we have the capillaries, which are very narrow blood vessels found throughout the body. So now, we move on to the final question. Mm -hmm. The difficult okay. question for $150. Oh my god, okay. So the difficult question is under the subject of plants. So, Ooh. for the difficult question for $150, name me three differences between the xylem okay. and phloem tube in a plant. Xylem and phloem. phloem. Oh wow, okay, then you, I think you got me here. I think I hear before but I'm, I, I, I really forgot. I, I, I try. You have three minutes. Xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem tubes are number one. The xylem, the flu. Uh, wait, let me see. Well, I already told you I never learned biology. So this one is uh, totally like, foreign it's, to it's you. It's like, yeah. You know about this? Something to bring the water or something. Right? Something yeah. like that. One difference, what? Support. Xylem is to support, is it? Okay, yeah, xylem then, is to support. And phloem is to support mentally. Okay, yeah. very good. The plant mental oh. health. Phloem sounds like something that flows. Could it be the main stock where you know the nutrients actually go to the plants? Phloem means whatever the plants has already manufactured and then they will flow it overall to the plants. Then, then the other one I think is to extract the excess water from the plants. So xylem and phloem. So phloem, I remember this O. So phloem is the outer one and O stands for food carrying tubes. Xylem is the inner tubes and that is water carrying tubes. One is to suck up the water, one is to suck up the nutrient, right? Okay. Which one suck up the water, which one suck up the nutrient? I think water is xylem. The xylem transports water from like the roots to like the other organs of the plant. The phloem transports the more of like the food of the plant. Xylem carry the water and phloem carry the food. Xylem which is the water carrying tubes is one way flow because it's from the roots to other parts of the plant and the phloem is a two way flow from all the leaves to all parts of the plant. Okay. Okay. One more difference. Okay you have one minute to okay. give me one more difference. Okay. One more difference between a xylem and a phloem. Yes. Xylem and a phloem. Xylem. Okay, I give you one clue okay. because I want you to win this. I well. want to. It's something to do with a wall. Like a cell wall then. Xylem and flow is separated by a wall? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't think about a wall. Five, four, three, nope. two, one. I'm gonna one. hate myself for this. The third difference. Xylem okay. is like a tube. It's made out of cells. And in between the cells, there's no, no more cell wall. Okay. Whether fluent is still cell joined together. Okay, so I will tell you one more difference. Then you tell me which is which. And if you get this one, then you win. Okay. One tube is a one-way flow. And the other tube is a two-way flow. Xylem is one-way flow. Okay. Fluent could be both sides. Could be or is? It, it's both sides. And your answer is? Uh, absolutely. Correct! <laughs> Uncle Ng, just okay. won the difficult question, $150. So you have named all three differences. Well, I'm, I'm glad I can still remember them. Your memory is perfect. So how do you feel after this test? I learned a lot of things today. Thank you so much. I would like to say sorry to my bio teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but you all have fun uh, learning about biology or like reviving your memories again. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hey, I remember yeah. some stuff. Eh. I had so much fun. Back here. Thank you everyone for having me here. Okay, Nikita, now we come to the. This is my favorite part. So, how many questions you got in the easy mode? I got all. You got three easy, which yeah. is $15. Five times three, that's 15. You got two medium. That's 20 plus 20, that's 40. I tell you what, since you almost yeah. got yeah. the Xylem and Flow yeah. one, so that's 50 first. <gasps> so, you got 55, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 55 first. Give you an extra 30. Let's go. Dollars. Four. Two, two correct answers in the easy mode. $10. Thank you. So for three easy questions, you have earned yourself $15. For two medium questions, $40. For two questions in the easy right. mode, $10. Thank you very much. For two correct answers in the easy mode, you have gotten 10 And for two correct answers in the medium mode, 20 <laughs> <laughs> 20 each. You are the first person who won the difficult question. Really? Yes, in this whole series. So you're going to give me the money now. But just now you say praise enough, right? <laughs> uh, just now he say praise enough. Praise is enough, but with money, but just do it. No, just now you say praise enough. Good job, good job. Uncle, good job. For three correct answers in the easy mode, 15. Okay. For the medium, 40. 
And for the difficult mode, 50, 100, 100, 50 dollars. Okay. Everybody okay. clap for Uncle Wow. Um. wow. <laughs> What are you going to do with the money? Uh, go have dinner. Wow, what dinner you have so expensive? Can I come or not? Sure. Okay, together lah, together. Yeah. We go eat hot pot. Alright lah, that's it. Kao team! So what do you think of our biology test? We hope that you learned something new today. But most importantly, have fun watching this video. Because that's what learning is all about, right? And our juniors and seniors proved today that despite your age, there's always something new to learn every day. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below and if you like this video, remember to hit the like button as well as share this video with all your friends. I confirm, appreciate the... Okay lah, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next episode of Juniors vs Seniors. That's it for us. Sell first, TMTV, out! Boom! Chopstick.